Well, Andrew, for me, uh, Manny, I, I, we, we've always said, I guess it was said early in his career, that, that any given day, any given year, he'd be able to roll out of bed and get a couple hits. So I guess we're going to put that to the test now. At the age of 48. <laughs> now, now I, I would say this. I would say this in fairness. He basically is the same age that I think Julio Franco played his last season. Yeah. Uh, I believe he was 47 or 48 uh, here in, in MLB. Same thing with Jamie Moyer, effectively. So Manny probably still has it here. I, I, and, I'm, and I also think it's important to note as well that you know, later on in his, in his uh, baseball career, he has transitioned into being a coach, which I understand he'll have uh, some coaching responsibilities in Australia as well. Um, but he coached, uh, obviously, with the Cubs for a couple of years. And, and, and Theo Epstein and, and the group there with the Cubs – no Manny probably as well as any other organization would because of all the time they spent together in Boston. And, and for Theo to bring him in as a coach, I think was a pretty strong testament to their belief in his baseball acumen and, and his ability to contribute to the organization. Um, certainly uh, he's had uh, ups and downs during the course of his career, but, but people have never doubted his ability to hit, his knowledge of the game. We all know uh, what a tremendous worker he always was to get ready for every game. So I'm sure he'll bring that work ethic to Australia. And we've, we've seen him play, of course, in Taiwan as well. Uh, he's someone who has traveled around the baseball world, and I'm sure will we'll be eager to bring that talent and skill to Australia as well. <laughs>